Welcome to the 2022-2023 school year. We're so excited about preschool this year. We cannot wait to see all you guys in person. We are so excited. My name's Miss Shannon. This is Miss Angelique. And I just want you to know that I am happily married. We're getting ready to celebrate our 30 year anniversary next month. And we have three children. And number seven grandbaby is coming in September. So we're so excited. Four boys, three girls. Grandma life is the best. You'll probably hear about my grandkids, just saying. This is my eighth year teaching at Horizon and my 21st year of teaching preschool. I'm not that old. Anyways, that's a little bit about me. Can you share some things about you? Yes, as Miss Shannon said, I'm Miss Angelique. I am married to my husband, John, have four kids, and I actually have my first grandbaby coming in February. So you'll be hearing about that one too. We can't wait to share. We'll be sharing lots of pictures. Yes, absolutely. So would you like to, um, no, you wouldn't like to. I am gonna tell you that we are licensed. We're licensed with the Oregon Department of Education. And this is our holder has all of our licensing documents in it. Isn't it beautiful? It's handmade, in case you couldn't tell. In here, you will find our license. And we are licensed through January 10th of 2023. Our license card comes out three times a year to make sure that we are um, just running the best program that we can run. Along with that comes some quirky rules that aren't associated with Horizon rules. And so we're just gonna take this opportunity to go over some of those really specific to preschool rules um, that might seem ridiculous sometimes, but we wanna make sure that we keep that license nice and strong so that we can operate as a licensed child care center, which is amazing by the way. So yeah, so do you wanna start out with drop off? Yeah, drop let, off. Me, let me tell you about drop off. So drop off in the mornings is from 7.45 until 8.30. We would, we would love to see your kiddos here on the first half of that, the front half of that time slot because the kids, do a great job of coming in and having some free play and socializing and they love that piece first thing in the morning. So the earlier you can get your kids here during that 45 minute time slot, the better they do in the morning because at 8.30 we clean up and we start circle time and we start our day. So that socialization piece is really important to them. So 7.45 to 8.30 is the time slot. I'm gonna walk over here and show you the door that we want you to come to. So this is our outside door right here. It's the second door on the right, across from the right next to the playground. So just come to this door, knock on the door, and we'll open it. We do require that parents walk their child to the door. You can't just send them, you can't send them with a sibling. Parents or grandparents, the adult that's bringing them to school needs to be the one to bring them to the door, knock on the door. And then we will take your child from there and welcome them in. And if there's a child that's having a hard time, Miss Shannon is great about staying in touch with the parents about how their child is doing. Usually within the first couple of minutes of parents saying goodbye and us shutting the door and helping them unpack their backpack, put their lunch on the shelf, wash their hands, they're playing and having a great time. So she'll send pictures and she'll stay in touch with you about that to just put you at ease and help you know that they're doing great. So we're excited to welcome them. They undo or unpack all of their own stuff it's a great step in that independence for them, learning how to unpack their backpack. Where do they put their lunchbox? Going in and washing their hands and doing all those independent things. It's fun watching that mature and grow as the school year goes. So I'm gonna walk back over here with Miss Shannon. Absolutely. Now we're ready to talk about snack and lunches, yes. is yeah. that right? Perfect, so in your student's lunch, um, one of the licensing requirements is that their lunch and their snack meet some nutritional guidelines. And you'll be able to look that up in your pre-K parent handbook that you will get at Meet Your Teacher Day. There'll be all kinds of fascinating things in there for you to read. But the nutritional guidelines will be in there. So you'll want to pack a morning snack. It's really helpful to us if the morning snack is separate from the lunch. Um, I know those bed go boxes are very, very convenient. However, if we have all 18 students with their snack tucked in there and we have to pull it out and put it on paper towel, it can be kind of time consuming. So we just ask that that morning snack be separate from uh, whatever, am I explaining that well? Yeah. Yeah. So just separate so we can grab it and get it out for their morning snack. And as far as lunch goes, 
um, and the morning snack, really, we ask that you just prepare anything. So if they have a hard boiled egg, we ask that you peel it for them. If they have an orange, we ask that that's peeled. Um, it's even helpful if you can snip the tops of fruit snacks or granola bars, just so they can be as independent as possible. Um, string cheeses, things like that. It's just kind of hard to get those things open when you're so young. One of the great tips that I saw last summer was a parent took their lunch and did a practice run with their student. They saw that they could open their lunchbox by themselves. They saw that they were able to open things and then it was kind of modified between what was challenging and what's not. We do not have a microwave. So um, all your student's food needs to be pre-cooked and ready to go. Uh, thermoses are super helpful for that. We saw a lot of stuff in thermoses. Last year we saw tamales and chicken strips and all kinds of stuff, dinner leftovers. So get your thermos because they're great. I use a thermos all the time now. Um, and then label everything. Label it nice and clear. Label it on the outside of the lunchbox if you could. If you don't want to permanently mark your lunchbox, just let us know and we'll stick a piece of tape on there with your student's name. Yeah, is that everything important for a snack and lunch? Perfect. Oh, and ice packs. You need ice packs yes, if you have packs. stuff that can spoil in there because we don't have a refrigerator either. So ice packs, labeling, meat nutritional guidelines, water bottles. Go on Pinterest for ideas. They have great lunch ideas for kids. And water bottles. Yeah, make sure you mark those as well. Yeah. I think that's it for that piece. That leads to Rest time. All right, rest time. So I have a rest time cubby. This is what your child's blanket, and if they would like to bring a stuffy, they can bring one stuffy. They need to be able to fit in these cubbies, and these cubbies then slide into a shelf that we have right over there. So no pillows, only one blanket, only one stuffy. Uh, our rest time is from mm -hmm. one, about one to two o'clock. And uh, we ask that parents, unless it's an emergency, we ask that the child, your child not be picked up or dropped off back at school during that time frame. Just so that there's no interruptions, the kids can have as quiet, restful time as possible. Uh, if you do need to, if something does come up and you do need to get your child, please feel free to text Miss Shannon and she, we can make those arrangements if there is an emergency or something comes up. Um, the children don't have to sleep. It's just a time for them to settle down and be quiet. We stay in the classroom, we sit in the classroom with them while the lights are off and they rest. Oftentimes once they settle their bodies down and they're still, they fall asleep whether they want to or not and they get a good rest. So um, again, a blanket that can fit in here, make sure that's labeled, they're stuffy, make sure it's labeled. These boxes will also have their names on it, but we always wanna make sure that the right kid is with the right stuff. So label those, make sure they can fit in here. And then at the end of every month, we send them home so that they can be laundered. So make sure that they can also fit in your child's backpack. So that the backpack is big enough, the blanket's small enough, and everything can fit in there when we send them home to be laundered. Perfect. And we're gonna use this box for the next part of our story. This is the same box that your student's extra clothes will go in. Um, lots of things happen at preschool. Puddles, wet slides, spilt milk, potty accident, spilt paint water. So it's really important that we have an extra change of clothes for your student. Our preschoolers are little, and so the front office often does not have clothes that small for them. So it's really important that we have them. So we ask you to send socks because socks always are involved in every <laughs> wet accident. Like no matter what, socks get wet. Um, so extra socks, extra pants, extra shirt, extra undies. And then we want you to put it into a gallon Ziploc bag and label it with your student's name. And then that way we have this ready to go no matter what happens. We kind of get crazy here in pre-K sometimes. So yeah, so I think that's all. And then that freezer bag will fit in this box over on the other side of the classroom. So your kids will have two boxes, one with rest time stuff and one with extra clothes all labeled. And then gym shoes will go in this box too. So yes, that's all I have on that part. Yeah, and then pick up. Pick up at the end of the day is from 2.30 to 2.45. And again, you'll come to this door, knock on this door. And the difference between pick up and drop off, uh, when pick up comes, you get to come into the classroom. And maybe you'll swoop up your child that fell asleep during rest time and we've just let them sleep. Or maybe your child has made some amazing creation with blocks and they want you to see that. So it's a fun time to come in the classroom, interact with the kids, see their space, see them operating in their space. 
and then you can help them get their stuff in, head out the door. Every Friday we send home papers and the activities that they've done during the week and so you'll get those on those that day as well. So 2.30 to 2.45, that window of time is really important for two reasons. Number one, at three o'clock, the rest of the elementary school is dismissed. So a car line begins to form right out here in the parking lot. So if you come during that 2.30 to 2.45 window, you should be able to easily get a parking space, get, get out, come to the door, get your child and get out of here before that line starts to form. The other thing about that 2.45 end time is Miss Shannon and I both have commitments at the end of the day. And so for us to honor those commitments and be able to do those things, we really need all of the kids out of the classroom by 2.45 so that we can move on to our next thing and you can get out of the parking lot successfully. So we appreciate you working with us on that and helping make that um, an easy time for your kids and for us. Absolutely. So on Thursday, September 1st, is that correct? Good Perfect. Time. Yeah, it is me your teacher day. I'm so excited about this day, you guys, because we get to see you and meet you and talk to you and answer whatever questions you might have. However, we have a really important job for you to do that day. We have our school supply list that you probably have already. We would love for you to bring in all of your school supplies that day. Change your clothes, rest time stuff, all of your school supplies because we put together an amazing gift basket. And if you bring in all your school supplies, you get a ticket in that drawing, it's which is amazing. super cool. They're gonna wanna win that prize. Absolutely. I wanna win the prize, but I can't do it. It's a rule. So anyways, bring in all your school supplies because on the first day of school when you're bringing your student in, everyone's just running a little bit anxious. Like we're excited to meet you, you're excited to meet us. Sometimes kiddos are having a hard time and to deal with school supplies on top of all that just gets a little bit messy. So you can help us out a great, great deal by bringing in your school supplies at Meet Your Teacher Day. And all you have to do is hand them to us, just put them in a pile, and we'll take care of the hard part. While there's no students here, that'll be so handy. You won't want to miss your opportunity to get this gift basket. And here's another cool thing. You've been watching this video. At the very beginning, I told you how many years I've been teaching. If you come to Meet Your Teacher Day, you tell me the answer to that question, how many years I've been teaching preschool, you get a bonus ticket in the drawing. That's a pretty sweet deal. Yeah, that's a pretty good so, deal. So yeah, so hit rewind, do it again, get that answer, give it to us at Meet Your Teacher Day on Thursday, September 1st uh, from one to three. Look at your email because you'll be getting more details about that awesome event. So yeah, and then as we go throughout the year, mm -hmm. you know, we have a couple of checks up our sleeve. Yeah, you'll get a newsletter at the beginning of every month. All the things that are happening that month, whether it's a class party or maybe there's a concert, uh, birthdays, because we love celebrating birthdays mm -hmm. in this class. The other thing that's in the newsletter is oftentimes we'll throw in a little sneaky, I don't know, fact or something that will mean another drawing for another fun prize. So always read the newsletter to stay current and also maybe get in there on some other fun drawings. So yeah, I think that's all we have for you. We look forward to meeting you. Thank you for your time. You'll get more info at Meet Your Teacher Day, but that's all we have for you now. Yeah, see you later. Bye. Bye.